So for a lot of people, today was the big day. Apple just had a, you know, world famous keynote speeches. Uh, one of their world famous keynote speeches and uh, unveiled a couple new products, showed a couple improvement system products. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. First, I'm going to get into the things I love. Let's get it clear. To my knowledge, I mean, I watched the whole thing. I was also doing something else the entire time I was watching it, but I wasn't. My face was on the screen. I was watching it. But it was the Watch OS 2 was the first thing that they did. Then they talked about, you know, what it could do. Then they talked about the iPad Pro. Oh, they talked about the new Apple TV too. I forgot about that. And then they got into the new iPhones. So we're going to cover them all. Things I love. Let's do that first. Things I love. I love the fact that that iPad had four speakers on it. I think that's dope. You can't knock that. Four speakers. And when they showed the inner workings of that, I thought that was pretty cool. So, you know. Give me louder sound on the tablet. I like the fact that they finally introduced a pen or pencil, whatever they want to call it. Look like a futuristic pencil. Don't like the fact that it has a battery, but yeah. I like the fact they got a pen now for more productivity. I like the bigger screen size. I mean, I have to see it in person, you know. 12.9 is definitely a leap that way. And they said it was the same size as the iPad sideways. Captures with the Apple TV. Well, let's just not just say captures. I like a lot of things about the Apple TV. I think the Apple TV is dope. You know what I'm saying? I think over time, eventually, TV will be more so geared towards something in that nature. Now, do I think Apple has uh, the resources and the following and all of that stuff to be the leader in this? Yes, I do. And they're first to market, you know what I'm saying, with something that is mainstream in this regard. So, I think it's cool, you know, it syncs with your phone, you got games and stuff. The whole way it works with the remote and it's the touchpad. Like I said, it's nothing new to just put things together. A bunch of things that already work and people are already doing and they put them together pretty nicely. I mean, it's more streamlined for our lives and what we're used to and what we're doing anyway. It works with stuff that we already have. So yeah, I pretty much like everything that they said about the Apple TV. I like it. The 3D Touch, this is on the iPhones. I like the 3D Touch on the iPhone because it gives you more functionality. Things happen like this. The reason my Note has always been my main phone is because, for instance, the stuff that they're talking about with 3D Touch where you can hover over an address or you know hover over a link and see it i've been doing that forever with my note i just hover the pen over a link like in a text message or something and i can see the website like a preview with all of this stuff they finally implemented it and the way that they did it definitely makes that operating system more functional is it new no do i like it yes i also like the fact that i don't have to use my pen for it but i use my pen most of the time anyway when i'm using my note so i mean who knows? They're definitely trying to make the iPhone more usable. And another thing I was going to say is, uh, <laughs> before we get too in-depth about this, because I am not an Apple fan, boy. I'm not an Apple head, man. Like, by no means. I do have Apple products. I'm not an Apple head. I think Apple heads are ridiculous. And the fucking funniest part about this shit is this whole keynote. And this is my personal opinion, which is the truth. Let me tell it. <laughs> the whole keynote, they were telling you in the nicest way possible that your iPad and your iPhone basically trash, basically inferior, basically that shit don't work good enough. You know what I'm saying? It is not as functional as a device should be and they are making it more functional. They are giving it way more functionality as far as like something as simple as being able to hold something down to do something. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're saying, hey, you were last year's model? Well, we had it all wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was telling you, like, you bought that bullshit. Like, this one is way better. And they made you feel like what was just out not too long ago was amazing. But this one is way better. So that last product, I guess it's really trash. I mean, it's built nicely, but that's what they said. That's how I took it. Anyway, moving forward, another thing that I like, the live photo. That was pretty cool. And when, once again, something is not new, but uh, the way that they did it is pretty innovative. I like the way that they actually did it to where every picture, once you go to it, like when they had the girl just like swimming. I was like, yeah, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not new. But definitely, you know, I do see that catching on because even though I've been able to do that, I never really did that. You know what I'm saying? Like with this, it actually makes it cool. You can do something. It can be your wallpaper. You know what I'm saying? It can be your watch. Uh, face. I like it. Can't knock it. Another thing that I really liked about this keynote, and this is just Apple's whole thing in general, because I never understood the mindset of the average Apple consumer. I don't understand Apple head mindset. I don't get that. That made no sense to me. So, being that this is my first keynote that I've ever watched from Apple, I saw what you guys see. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the way that they do things is completely different because I've watched almost every Samsung unpacked event. 
One thing that I did notice, and this is not trying to be, you know, I guess I won't say racist, but country is, we live in America, you know what I'm saying, United States, and they definitely did a good job promoting like the U.S. lifestyle, something that we can relate to, so you already feel like they're talking to you, you know what I'm saying, because one, they speak fluently, they dress in a certain way, they move in a certain way, they're doing all this U.S. lifestyle shit, you know what I'm saying, you can definitely see the barrier when you're watching like the Unpacked events, but I don't watch it to see people move, I watch that technology, that's the big thing that I look for, and I, I, I see what people get from it, like if you don't look nowhere else, like if I didn't know that there was, you know, technology that was, if not just as good, but better, because it's not worse by any means, you know, Android, all that shit, if you're not knowledgeable that there's something else out there, you you can't get tied into the way that they were actually promoting this and saying it's the best. Like they, they warm it up. They didn't say it was the best until like at the end, you know what I'm saying? They just like hit you up with all these bullet points and just nailed that coffin. Like it's the best, you know what I'm saying? So I see how people get caught in. And another thing that I actually like, I love the fact that when Apple jumped, people listen, man, like all the stuff that they did, you know what I'm saying? Like with the doctors and all that stuff. And you know what I'm saying? Like they can get people on board with their stuff. Cause this is the US phone. This is the phone of the US. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole country back in this. All the companies and everything, they are back in this US product. I got a buddy I work with. That man said, um, you gotta love that product support from Apple. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? He was like, I can go anywhere and get a case and all sorts of things. That's the first thing we said. I kind of cut him off. Cause he probably did have a point as I'm seeing now. Uh, he said product support. Basically, in layman's terms, what he meant is when Apple does something, everybody supports it. No if ands that they everybody fucking supports the shit. There's more apps that are tailored for iPhone than apps that are tailored for Android. You know what I'm saying? There's companies behind this shit. Like they spent the whole fucking intro talking about Watch Your West and, and all this other iPad shit talking about doctors and how they that's not me. But that's just showing there they flexing their muscles, showing how they got. Just think about this. With that shit, it's pretty much mandatory that your doctor is gonna have one and that you as a pregnant lady you're going to have to have one. I'm speaking about the Apple Watch and some shit for like that shit is insane that they can actually flex muscles like that and get people on board because even though I love Android, you don't find manufacturers that got support like that. Uh, so definitely things that I love. Try not to make this video too long moving forward. Hates. Uh, yeah, one thing I definitely hate is 16 gigabyte only Phones. That's some bullshit. Get rid of that shit, especially when you motherfuckers is charging for iCloud prices. Whereas you got other platforms, or you do have like Google Photos, which is free. You know what I'm saying? Unlimited storage. Now, before I kill, you know, or go too in depth, I just want to be clear. I'm a business-minded individual in a lot of senses, and I'm a regular person in a lot of senses. So, if we're speaking on the business standpoint, I love Apple's business model. I get it. It makes so much sense. It is a great business model. Great. However, on a personal standpoint, as far as a consumer, that shit is some fucking bullshit. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. That's why my main device is the other shit. Another thing, what else do I hate about it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I missed the keynote. You know what I'm saying? I was uh, I was trying to watch the shit, you know what I'm saying? But that whole streamline, everything got to be Apple shit, man. I ain't got time for that shit. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, dog. I hate their ecosystem. I fucking hate Apple's ecosystem. How they try to interlock that shit and control your world. No, because here's my problem. Try to watch the keynote. I know in the past you have to watch it on like an iPhone or an iOS based or OS, whatever the fuck. You gotta watch it on an Apple device. I uh, tried to get around it one time. I was at the DMV and I tried to watch the last one they had, but you know what I'm saying? It pulled up halfway because I was using Dolphin Browser and I set it up to act like an iPhone or whatever the fuck, iPad or Mac OS it. It started to work and then it just didn't even last for like 15 seconds. So yeah. I just had a bad taste in my mouth from that. I tried to do it again, but this is what happened. So I'm like, all right, shit, where the fuck my iPad at? I ain't used that shit in forever. So I'm looking for my iPad, and I remember, damn, I ain't got no charger for it. I lost my damn charger. Didn't look for it. So it took me forever. I don't know, I found my other iPad. Found my iPad, man, shit was dead. Then I'm still looking. I'm like, ah. So I found my OG iPad. Shit was dead, and I found the charger for this one, and then the shit wouldn't even charge. So I'm missing, you know, the keynote and shit. Then I'm like, Ah, let me go find my iPhone. So I went and found my iPhone, and then shit was dead. You know, I don't got the charger. Like, ah. Then I go, I find my 3GS. A 3G? I can't remember. Anyway, I find this motherfucker. Shit won't fucking turn on. God damn it. Then I find this motherfucker. Uh, it take forever to charge up from dead, but finally turns on and shit. By that time, the motherfucking keynote is over. Now, I had looked online again, waiting to see if I can catch, you know, the event after the event. Did see something that said, viewable from 
Windows 10 with some other shit. I'm like, fuck. And I don't even have, like, I ain't got that on my computer right now at the moment anyway. It was just some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Didn't like that shit. Spending too much time on it. My bad, I apologize. You want to keep watching, continue to listen. Another thing I don't like about them is the ever-advancing software slash hardware. I'll say it again. I do not like their ever advancing software slash hardware. The reason being is because God damn there's so much shit that you motherfuckers ain't doing software wise. Why are y'all always getting so much better every fucking year? It's because y'all ain't doing shit for two years at a time. That is some fucking bullshit. And then the hardware too? Like come on man. I'm talking about 4K video, 12, bruh I've been shooting 4K video on my fucking phone for like two years now. Almost two years. Come the fuck on. Like, I get it. Blah, 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 blah. See, I don't, I don't like how you stretch the product. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could have made that shit good five years ago. But the business standpoint is great because if you have something that, you know, is amazing now, roll it out in batches. I get it. Give them piece by piece by piece by piece and they just keep buying because it's always ever advancing the software and the hardware that is. But as a consumer, the fuck out of here with this shit. That's why I love companies like Samsung. Their motto is relentless innovation. That means they are throwing everything, throwing everything trying to get that next best thing. And what's the, what does that mean? for me the best shit at the time so i always got the best shit available at the time i always had the best shit available at the time if you have an iphone or an ipad it's very rare that you have the best shit at the time available that uh ipad pro it's dope you know what i'm saying finally a good ipad like if i ever was to buy another ipad it's got to be that one you know what i'm saying with shit how do y'all how do y'all like i couldn't even look my customers in the eye if i'm doing that and they know it like but then again that's what comes with being an apple head you don't have eyeballs that open up and see shit. You were blinded. Come on, man. Anyway, um, moving forward, two more things I got on my hate list. One is the fact that when they jump, people listen. Matter of fact, I'm going to save that for last. Before I get into that, last thing on my hate list is that bullshit performance. Like, what the fuck is that, dog? Like, no offense to, you know, the boys out there grinding, doing their music tip and all that stuff like that. But like, what the fuck did I sit there and watch? First of all, it's like they're trying to get you, dog. Like, it's like a ploy that these motherfuckers have. That's, again, that, that jump people listen shit that's that u.s lifestyle like they're throwing it at you all the things that you like they try to make it sound so magical and perfect and what the fuck does that have to do with these new products these motherfuckers up here singing and shit it's just because you can you flexing the muscles and it's like what the fuck i don't know maybe i'm just a stickler about shit that don't make no goddamn sense uh last thing on my hate list is when they jump people listen I fucking hate that. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. It's a good thing because when they do something, it gets a lot of support. So your product, if you bought into them, is going to have a lot of support. It's a bad thing because there are other companies that have been doing this for a long, 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 long time. They have been giving you this new technology for a long time, this innovation for a long time, but they get no support until Apple does it. So what does that do? It slows down the technology. So we are in turn left behind the curve as to what is available for our hardware hardware and software. You know what I'm saying? Hardware might be ahead, software is behind. The ecosystem's behind. And it's Apple's fault. It's all Apple's fault. And another thing, I'm fucking sick of Apple always trying to sue somebody and accuse people of stealing. Shut the fuck up. Y'all ain't shit but a better Blackberry, man. Come the fuck on. Y'all have taken so many fucking ideas. Y'all always taking ideas. This whole keynote was stolen ideas. What the fuck did you really innovate? You did things your way, force touches a fucking long press or a hover with an S pen. Yeah, but with the finger in a little bit different. Your iPad Pro was a Note Pro, no bigger, and you partnered with companies like you stole. You got a fucking pencil, Apple pen. Cause shut the fuck up. Come on, man. Stop trying to sue motherfuckers when you're doing the same shit. Stop flexing them weak ass muscles, man. Them steroid muscles, man. Them shits ain't even real. It's like a cheat code. Y'all whole shit is the ultimate cheat code. Even that performance, man. Like y'all, that whole key, man. You pulling these folks out, you would cheat. Apple Music beats whatever the fuck beats one of all that shit. Man, stop playing with these folks, man. Keep it real. Keep it real. Everybody link up. That make this dope shit. So I can review this shit, make these coins, keep it moving, man, we all enjoy, I got good shit, run my business, man, come on, man, I'll stop playing, wasting my time, man, give me some old ass shit again, every year, some old ass shit, man, old ass new shit, y'all give me some old ass new shit, every fucking year, 
Every year, dog. I done had this damn no pro for a long last time. Now they just gave me another one that's a little bit bigger with a pencil that I gotta pay an extra hundred dollars for. You know what I'm saying? They ain't even telling me like this was 749 brand new. 849 you get the 64 gig. Keyboard is like 99. But the pen come with it. To get that same setup, that keyboard was 150. Alright, so the tablet is 800. But with the pen, which is what makes it amazing, it's 900. With the keyboard, it's 1050. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You just added three hundred dollars on. I guess maybe it's worth it. Who knows? I don't know. I like four speakers. I like you know what the pen can do. I always like pen on products and shit, man. But god damn. Or I just I just want something really new. Like I want I don't want no new old shit. It's hard to get excited when you give me some shit that I already had, bro. Come on, man. Shit. Which leads me to the next point. We offer the loves and hate. We're talking about reality that matter now. Reality of the situation is you not gonna have the best devices until everybody works together. For instance, Microsoft worked with Apple. They're making certain stuff for the, the iPad and, and like, you know, Photoshop. Like if, if you had everybody working together, like imagine the Samsung team with Apple and like really work together like that. We have the best fucking devices, dog. Monopolize the world. Make all the money. You know what I'm saying? I would buy into it, dog, because you're gonna have two beasts. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have Samsung giving that fresh new, 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 new. Well, matter of fact, I don't even know if that would even really work that way because Apple's model is they watch people do things and try to pick what they do right and just put it all together in a bunch. So if Samsung's right smacking them in the head, smacking them in the head, smacking them in the head with new shit or even basic Android as well, they're not gonna have a, a ground to judge it off of. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna be like, oh yeah, Samsung's on their fourth smartwatch now. Fifth, smart, fifth, six smartwatch now. My fuck, Galaxy Gear, Gear Two, Gear Neo, Gear Fit, Gear Live, Gear S. You had six gears before they even came out with their first smartwatch. Now, the reason I say that's not gonna work is because not only does Apple watch what the companies do, so even if Samsung's like, look, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, they're not even gonna know how to apply their genius, which is seeing what companies have put out and seeing how customers have responded. Apple watch. It's like I watch my brother fall, so I know what not to do when I go up and, and, and jump that ramp. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you hear people talking about it and you get to sit back for six attempts to watch something. But anyway, truth of the matter is when everybody works together, we're going to get better products. And like I said, if they're not, then we behind the curve. Because even if we got the hardware, the software can be dramatically improved. Aside from that, man. Uh, yeah, so we got some new iPhones and... You know, a new iPad and new software for the Apple Watch. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, to sum it all up, the only way you really excited is if, you know, I mean, really excited if you're a consumer because the doctors, you know, they got their shit made. But the only way you really excited as a consumer is if you really ain't had no new shit in the past two, three years. You know what I'm saying? And no, going from an iPhone 5S to a 6 is not no new shit, bro. You got a bigger screen and you fucking loved it. It's like going from a 32 inch to a 55 and up. Of course you're going to fucking love that shit. Bigger screen, goddammit. That's why you fucking loved it. If you ain't had no new shit in the past couple of years, you're going to be excited. Or if you a doctor or a pregnant lady or some shit like that, you excited too. All the way excited. I mean, because I did see some things that are like, but I'm not, oh my god. It's not an oh my god. Ad. It's a, yay, we finally got some shit that everybody gonna fucking have. Really? Yay, our shit is better now. Yes, there's better shit out <laughs> there.